Libius Severus was Western Roman Emperor from November 19, 461, to his death. A Roman senator from Lucania Severus was one of the last Western emperors, emptied of any effective power, and unable to solve the many problems affecting the empire. The sources describe him as a pious and religious man. Biography Rise to the throne on August 7, 461. The Magister Militum of the Western Roman army, Rissimus, had Emperor Majoran killed, thus leaving the Western throne empty. A struggle for the succession thus ensured, with the Eastern Emperor, Leo I, the Thracian, the King of the Vandals, Geyseric, and Rissima himself involved. The Eastern Emperor traditionally had the right to accept his colleague, for the Empire was nominally still united. Rissima needed a weak Emperor on the throne, in order to control him. His barbaric descent barred him from taking the throne for himself. Geyseric had captured the wife and the two daughters of the Western Roman Emperor Valentinian III, Licinia Eudoxia, Placidia and Eudocia, during the sack of Rome, and, through the marriage of one of them, Eudocia, with his son Huneric, he had entered the imperial family. Geyseric's candidate to the Western throne was Olibrius, who had married Placidia and was thus a member of his family. In order to push for Olibrius' election, Geyseric decided to put pressure on the empire with several raids on the coasts of Italy and Sicily, maintaining that the peace treaty he had signed with Majoran was no longer valid. Rissima reacted by sending an embassy to Geyseric and asking him to respect the treaty, while a second embassy was sent by Leo I asking for the end of the raids and the release of the wife and daughters of Valentinian. Despite the pressure of the Vandal raids, Rissima ignored Olibrius and put the senator Libius Severus on the western throne, he was probably chosen in order to please the Italian aristocracy. Severus was elected emperor by the Roman Senate on November 19, 461, in Ravenna. Reign Severus had to face several problems during his reign. Because of the presence of Rissima and because his rule was not recognized in several provinces, Unrest in the provinces at the beginning of the 460s the Western Roman Empire no longer ruled several imperial provinces even nominally. Britain had been abandoned, Africa had been conquered by the Vandals, and Hispania was occupied by the Subi and the Visigoths. However, the area under Libyus' control was even smaller, as the governors of several provinces did not recognize him as emperor. Both Egidius, who controlled Gaul, and Marcellinus, who ruled semi-autonomously over Illyricum, had been supporters of Majoran and thus did not accept Libyus' election. Even the Eastern Emperor Leo I the Thracian did not recognize Libyus Severus. The historical sources related to the eastern part of the empire. Marcellinus comes and Diodanus consider Libius a usurper of the western throne. Libius Severus feared that Marcellinus, who commanded a powerful army, could descend upon Italy, and asked for Elio's help. The eastern emperor sent Philicus as envoy to Marcellinus and dissuaded him from the attack. This episode is also important because it marks the passage of Illyricum from the western to the eastern sphere of influence. To oppose Egidius, Severus appointed his own supporter Agrippinus to the office of Magister Militum Pagallius, thus officially giving him power over Egidius. During Majoran's reign Agrippinus had been accused by Egidius of treachery, found guilty and condemned to death, he had been pardoned probably because of Rissimus, who then supported him in opposition to Egidius. Agrippinus asked for support from the Visigoths, and with their help moved against Egidius and his Frankish allies, led by King Childeric I. In exchange for their support, in 462 the Visigoths received the city of Narbonne from Severus, thus getting access to the Mediterranean Sea and separating Egidius from the rest of the empire. Among Severus a few official acts, there is the appointment as Praetorian Prefect of Gaul of that Arvandus who, in 468, was to be prosecuted for treachery and condemned to death for having tried to obtain a throne. Therefore Severus actually ruled only over Italy, even if in 465, with the death of Egidius, 
Gaul returned to his sphere of influence for a short time. It is probably to this temporary control over Gaul that the limited issue of his coins by the mint of Aralate is to be dated. Under Rissima's control Rissima put Livius Severus on the throne, though he retained actual power. Some coins exist issued in Severus a name yet bearing a monogram sometimes identified with Rissima's, even if these coins were actually issued in the period between the reign of Severus and of his successor, Anthemius. It is nonetheless an honor unheard of for a barbarian, who was even mentioned on the inscriptions just after the emperors. Rissima's control was so clear that, in recording the defeat and death of Burgor, the king of the Alans, by his hand, the historian Marcellinus comes calls Rissima a king. Burgor, king of the Alans, is killed by King Rissima. One source, Cassiodorus, goes so far to attribute Severus a death to poisoning ordered by Rissima, when all of the other sources claim it was a natural death. Vandals The Vandals continued their raids during the reign of Severus. On one hand Geyser justified the raids complaining that he had not received part of Valentinian's legacy. On the other hand, he still hoped to put Holy Brius on the western throne. Vandal raids deeply affected the economy of the Italian landowners. Typically senators, some representatives of the Italian aristocracy went to the emperor to pledge for a reconciliation with Geyseric. Severus chose the patrician Tatian and sent him to the king of the Vandals, who, however, rejected the peace proposal. Relationship with the Eastern Empire Even if Severus was not officially recognized by Eastern Emperor Leo I the Thracian, nonetheless the two halves did collaborate, as shown by the episode of Elio's intercession with Marcellinus and the embassy led by Philicus. Another sign of the collaboration between the two courts is the choice of consuls. According to tradition, each court chose a consul and accepted the one chosen by the other court. Without Eastern recognition, Severus named himself consulate of 462 and chose an influential member of the Roman senatorial aristocracy for the following year. Severus then decided not to indicate a consul for the years 464 and 465 and chose to accept the two designated by the Eastern Court. Death The details of Severus a death are obscure, but the majority of the modern scholars agree that he died of a natural cause in 465. In a passage from his Jetica, Jordanus claims Severus ruled for only three years. It is probable, however, that this is a mistake by the 6th century historian. As regards the day of his death, it is recorded as August 15th by Faster Vendor Bonance's priors. But a law by Severus dated September 25th has been preserved, either he died after that day or the law was issued after his death in his name. Cassiodorus, in the 6th century, maintains that Severus was treacherously poisoned by Rissima in his own palace. But three years after Severus' death, the poet Sidonius Apollinaris wrote that he had died a natural death. According to modern historians, Rissima had no reason to kill Severus, who was actually a puppet under his control, unless he was an obstacle to Rissima's reconciliation with Leo. Bibliography Matheson, Ralph W. Livius Severus, Der Imperatoribus Romanis, 1997 D. Woods, A Misunderstood Monogram. Rissima or Severus, Homothena 172, 5-21. http colon slash slash papyri dash Leipzig dot dl dot uni dash Leipzig dot de slash received slash Udl papyri underscore shrift underscore 000 semicolon j session at equals d43 d2172 e6 a5 e08 c1 e4 add 3 df76 dbc 021 question mark xsl dot style equals print